Hi friends, my video today is going to be my makeup collection if I had to start it all over again. Um, I've seen videos like this before, so it's essentially just products that I have that I would repurchase if something happened to my makeup collection and all of my makeup that I currently have went away. Um, so I think this is just a really interesting kind of video to you. It really puts a lot into perspective, um, especially when thinking of my collection through this lens. And yeah, I keep watching if you want to see what I'd re-buy from my current collection. And yeah, let's get into it. Um, so I'm gonna go in order of how I kind of apply my makeup. And the first product I'm going to start with is the MAC Face and Body Foundation and I wear the shade C1. I also think I have C2 in this as well, um, but it's put away. This is my favorite foundation ever. I wear it year-round, um, light coverage, very glowy, but I feel like it is buildable, so I can get like a medium coverage out of this. Um, it color matches, the color matches me really well. Um, I have a lot of redness in my face, so sometimes I feel like I have a hard time like getting products that actually match my skin tone. Um, and yeah, compared to some of my, well, I don't have, I have two other foundations in my collection. Um, I just feel like this is the most, like, versatile foundation I have, which I think is why I kind of gravitate toward it first, rather than some of my other foundations. Um, I feel like it doesn't sit, like, you don't really need a skin prep or anything for this. I feel like no matter what, you slap it on your face, it looks good. My next product that I'd repurchase if something happened to my makeup collection is actually another foundation. And it is the YSL Too Too Clap All in One Glow. This I find to be more of a medium coverage for me at least. I like to wear really, really light coverage foundations, but I think this is a beautiful, beautiful medium coverage foundation. Um, very, very glowy. Probably you can tell by the name, it's called All in One Glow. I especially like this in the summer um, just because it is so glowy and does kind of have more of coverage and it also does have some SPF in it which I know you can't really count makeup that has SPF in it as like an SPF but I think that's always a nice little plus and yeah I find the color on this one is great I got a good match as well with this one and yeah I think I would definitely go out and buy this one again my next product that I would buy is a concealer and it is the Glossier Stretch Concealer and I wear the shade G10. This is it. Um, yeah, I think this is a really great light coverage concealer. It has very, very little coverage. So if you're looking for something that does have more coverage, I would not suggest this one. The Anna Edit loves this concealer and that's why I bought it. Um, I find the color on this one is really great as well. And it also lasts a long long time. I've had this concealer for about a year and I've used it almost every time I've done my makeup over the past year and this is the dent I have in it and it's so small. This is a really great everyday no makeup makeup and also just for someone who likes natural makeup like myself I feel like this is a great great product. And my other concealer I have in my collection. I only have two concealers in my collection at the moment but actually both of them I'd repurchase. And it, my second concealer is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I wear the shade Light 2.5 Creme Brulee. This concealer is another great multi-use product. Um, it looks good all over the face. It's really great to cover up spots on the face, but I also wear it under my eyes. I feel like you can really, even though it's matte, and you can get it to be very full coverage, um, you can also sheer it out. And I do, like, sometimes I'll just put on a little bit under my eye. And I feel like it covers up just enough darkness, but it doesn't look, like, super full coverage, like, under the eyes. Um, and this product has also lasted me really well. I've had this pot for probably longer than I should have at the moment, but it does still perform great. And I don't even have a huge dent in it yet. Um, and yeah, I would really happy with my concealers at the moment, so I would definitely go out and purchase those again. And so moving on into cheek products, 
actually first I do have a powder I have this is the only like loose powder I have like setting powder and it is the hourglass veil powder now I do have the travel size so this was quite less expensive than like the regular size which is like the big container um but this is a great powder I'm not a huge powder person so I really don't have that much to say but I found this powder works it sets my makeup but it also doesn't look cakey and it's pretty invisible on the skin I haven't had any um, problems with like flashback or anything like that either um, so yeah I can see myself repurchasing this in the near future and also if I had to start my collection over again this is probably the powder I'd go to just because it, it works what can I say now into cheek products um, the first cheek product I'm going to talk about is a bronzer and it is the, I just happen to have um, a travel size in my collection right now, but in any iteration I'd buy this, the uh, Benefit Hoola bronzer. So it's just another good, like, I don't want to be like, it's a classic for a reason, but it is. Um, great color, um, pretty universal, at least for people who do have fairer skin tones like myself. I think they recently did expand the um, shade range to fit people with more deeper skin tones, which is really, really great. The formula is great. I find you can really sheer it out or you can build it up for a more intense color on the cheeks. And I find it blends great. It works and it's a great product. Pretty no fuss, um, really easy, especially if you're still kind of a beginner. Not that I would consider myself a beginner, but I'm not like, makeup's a hobby for me. Um, and yeah, I really like it. My next cheek product is a highlighter and it is the NARS highlighting powder and I have the shade Fort de France, is it right there? It's kind of a gold champagne -y color. This highlighter is so, so beautiful, you don't even understand. It is pretty expensive, I think it's about $38, but the formula it somehow manages to be a powder, but it does not leave any sort of like big chunky glitters on your face it blends beautifully and it just gives you really nice lip from within glow i have considered buying this in some of the other colors because i love it so much and i definitely gravitate toward this more than my other highlighters so i would definitely go out and repurchase this if i had to start my makeup collection over um and my next product you can't get this anymore but you can get similar it is one of the hourglass ambient lighting edit and this is the volume four um they bring this out in like some iteration every year so i would include anyone i think last year was the ghost i don't know what this year's is called i don't remember um i love this these palettes are pretty expensive they're about $80, which is a lot of money to spend on makeup, but I would recommend this. I think since I bought this about two years ago was when this one was out, I probably have used this every single time I've done my makeup in some capacity when I have, ever since I bought this. And I travel with this because it has two blushes, a bronzer, a highlighter, and setting powders. So. It's pretty like a great all-rounder like you necessarily don't even have to have like another bronzer another highlighter you can just have this palette which is why I think the value for it is great and these powders are so hard to use up because they're like that baked kind of consistency um, and yeah this is like one of my favorite makeup products out of my whole collection that I own because it is just so so functional so even though that price point is a little scary, I think it is 100% worth it, and I do not say that lightly. Like, the Pat McGrath palettes, the Mothership ones that are like $130, I think, in that kind of price range, like, I think that's so crazy to pay for makeup, considering makeup does not last forever. It doesn't. And i am very very happy with this and think it is 100 percent worth the money and i would definitely go out and repurchase one of these palettes if i had to start my makeup collection all over again now on to the eyes so the first thing i'm going to start out with maybe this is cheating but um i always try my eyes with the mac painterly paint pot so i would definitely go out and buy one of these um, I know some people don't like these, they find them to be a little drying. I've never had a problem with that, I really actually like it. Um, so I would definitely go out and buy another one if I had to start my collection over. 
the next product I would repurchase if I had to start my collection over would be the Shiseido Aura Dew and I have the shade Solar that is it it's beautiful Alana Davison um, really likes these and she kind of got me hooked on it I was like they had none in stock at the Sephora's near me when I went to buy this about two years ago and I was like I'm not buying it because I want to be able to see the actual color um, like in person and I was in New York City um, for like a weekend or something and they had it at one of the Sephora's that was near where I was staying so I went and I swatched it and I ended up buying it it is so so beautiful I cannot even like explain the glitters are so so fine in it that when you put it on your eyes it makes it look your eyes look wet like it looks like an eye gloss but it is purely a gl powder glitter um and it's just I can't even put it into words it is so so beautiful I totally recommend if you can get access to one of these like at a store near you or you feel comfortable buying one online I would totally totally do it it is the most beautiful eye product I've ever seen and I'm considering actually getting some of the other colors this one solar that I have is a gold and I think there's like a rose gold and a silver as well and yeah um my next eye product that I'd repurchase if I had to start over my collection is actually a brow product and it is the Kaja Beauty brow blowout in the shade medium brown this is just a brow gel but I find it is the greatest brow gel I've ever used sometimes when I use this I don't even feel like I have to like fill in my brows with like dip brow or something I just put this I just put this through and yeah I feel like I'm ready to go it's actually all I have in my brows right now um and yeah pretty simple kind of boring product but I find that it works great and it's pretty inexpensive I think it was only like $15 which yes more than you buy at the drugstore but for like a Sephora a brand from Sephora pretty good price point um and yeah I would definitely buy this as my brow gel if I had to start my makeup collection over the next product I'm talking about is mascara and I don't want to say too much about this because I've only been using this mascara for about two or three weeks at this point but I find that it has worked so great and it is the Lancome Miss Your Big Mascara this is just the regular one I know there's like a waterproof one too but I find this looks it makes your lashes look so good like it makes your lashes almost look like as long as like falsies but it's like mascara and I am really happy with the wearability of it it makes like I just feel I feel fine throwing it on like it's not it doesn't make your lashes so long that like it looks funny if you're not wearing any other makeup but it also lengthens and defines your lashes so much that I feel like it looks it looks it's just a great mascara and from what I've seen from it I have only had it for a few weeks so I don't want to be like absolutely go out and get this because I'm not really done trying it out yet but I have been I'm very very pleased with what I've seen from this mascara and if that theme continues throughout um, this tube I probably would go out and repurchase this if I was starting over my makeup collection now on to lip products the final category the first lip product I would buy if I had to start over my makeup collection would be this Fenty Beauty lip gloss and it is in the shade Fenty Glow it's the first one that she launched this lip gloss is so so beautiful like I find just it's so versatile the color like it looks good on everyone it adds just enough color and like sheen and shimmer to the lips that like even if you're not wearing any makeup it looks great um and even if you're wearing a full face makeup it looks great I just find that it's very versatile and it's not too sticky or anything like that and even when I finish like I'm about halfway done with this tube I don't know if you can see like even when I finish this I know I'm gonna go out and get it and I can't say the same thing about a lot of my other products so this is probably one of my favorite lip products I have in my collection the next lip product I would um totally go out and buy if I had to restart my collection is I have the little ones here because they came in a set but it's the Pat McGrath matte trance lipsticks and like I said before these three little ones came in a collection but I'm honestly not opposed to buying a full-size one even though they are very expensive for what they are 
matte lipsticks are honestly not my favorite just because I feel like they really make my lips dry out but I don't find that with these ones like I find that these ones they last great but they also don't make your lips too like cracked and look kind of tight and dry looking um and the colors are beautiful so I think that if I had to restart my collection I would probably maybe go out and buy a set like this or maybe just buy like one in like a neutral shade that I could wear like almost all the time but overall really happy with these as well and I think I would go out and repurchase them in some iteration if I had to restart my collection the next lip product I have is also by Pat McGrath and it is the her lip liner and contour this is just a really great all-rounder color it's like a brownie nude I don't know if you can see on the end there and you can wear it with any lipstick any lip product or just throw it on even with like a gloss it's just it's literally the only lip liner I have in my collection because you can wear it with literally anything or you can wear it by yourself um it's incredibly versatile and it's a beautiful formula as well very creamy but also like does stay put on the lips um and yeah I'm super happy with this product and would repurchase it probably as my one lip liner again if I had to restart my collection and the final lip products I would repurchase if I had to restart my collection are probably probably would repurchase these for a different reason but the colors of them are beautiful so these are two lipsticks that I made at the bite beauty lip lab about ooh, close to two years ago at this point yikes um the first one I made is this really pretty just nice neutral nude color and the second one I made is this it's like a sheer almost neutral red kind of color it's one of those colors that like it looks different in the tube than it does on the lips but it's really really pretty and obviously if you go to the bite beauty lip lab you can make whatever color you want and these just happen to be the two colors that I made um but I think I would repurchase these because it was a really great experience it is pretty pricey I think it was about $160 but you do get to completely customize your own lipsticks and try out a bunch of different shades and kind of workshop that process and you do get to take home two lipsticks that are in the by beauty um signature lipstick formula which i don't know if they still do like the amuse bouche because like i don't know if that they switched over to vegan and i don't know if that is still considered vegan or not um and the experience was a lot of fun i was in san francisco um on vacation visiting my best friend and we went to the Bite beauty lip lab and we made lipsticks and yeah um even though this isn't a typical like repurchasing experience I think if I was starting over my makeup collection and I hadn't had that experience yet I think I definitely still would want to pursue it and make my own lipsticks because I am really really happy with the colors that I made and guys that is every single one of my products I'd repurchase if I had to start over my makeup collection that is all I have for you today I hope you like this video please give it a like or a and or subscribe if you want to see more of me and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye